Hey guys, we've got some great news. We just got some new information on Scott's new book coming out on December 26th, The Survival Log Book. I'm pretty sure it's what it's called. So, uh, on Amazon, there's some um, pictures of what's in the book, and there's also a teaser for what appears to be FNAF 6. So let's look at what we can see. That didn't make any sense. So possibly the most interesting thing about this new book is that it's written by Michael Afton, the son of William Afton. And it's his journal that has been passed down to us, the reader. Not like passed down in a family way, but uh, maybe we found it in the wreckage of Fazbear's Fright. I don't know. But he's left some little clues and hidden messages in his book, so got a few of them for you guys. So here is the first hidden message in the book, and it says, Was your favorite childhood toy a plastic purple telephone? Now, I don't know if this is Michael writing down his thoughts, or maybe writing it to someone, maybe writing it to us, but... Where else have we seen a plastic purple telephone? Well, we saw it in the bedroom of the FNAF 4. Another hidden message left in the book is, What do you remember? Now, I think this is most likely have to do with FNAF 4. If you remember in the trailer, it says... Almost the exact same thing. Like, what do you remember? So, yeah, maybe another reference to FNAF 4. Is this song familiar to you? What song is it referring to? Maybe it's referring to, um, maybe Freddy's little jingle when you lose power in FNAF 1, that little, uh, I think it's the Chord or March or something like that. Uh, maybe it's like a carousel from FNAF 2, and that'll be backed up later. And here's what I was talking about. In this one, it says, was your favorite ride the carousel? Now, there was a carousel in FNAF 2. We did see that in the game area, I'm pretty sure it was called. So, yeah, maybe that's what it's referring to when it's talking about the carousel and the song. It, but, yeah, could be referring to something totally different and just debunk my theory. So in this next one, it says, my name, and then there's a bunch of blood all over the page. So, not quite sure what happened. Maybe he didn't want us knowing his name, but if it's already on the front page... And why wouldn't he want us to know that it belonged to Michael Afton? I don't know, it's pretty weird. And so for this next one, it says, What do you see? Now, this also, for me, makes a connection to the FNAF 4 trailer when it says, What is it you think you see in the trailer? So, I don't know, maybe it's making another connection to FNAF 4? Maybe Scott really wants us to pay attention between the links between this book, the new game that may have something to do with this, and 4. So this one makes a nice little reference to JJ from FNAF 2, where you can see JJ, what it looks like, hiding under the desk in this page. And if you look closely, there's the number 10 up in the top right corner. Now, I'm not quite sure what this means, it's in tallies, but this makes me think of the FNAF 3 teaser image with um, Phantom Bloom Boy and the number 10, but I'm not sure what this means. Now, this one is only creepy because it's just a regular old ward search, right? But no, if you look closely, you can see loads of It's Me scattered around the ward search, which is... Plainly, obviously, a reference to Golden Freddy in FNAF 1, where you would get hallucinations of him saying, It's me. So yeah, that's a cool little throwback. So I've saved the best for last, and that is the teaser 
for what appears to be uh, what I think may be Freak Show Chica in FNAF 6. Now, there's a lot of talk about this character. One that you'll notice right off the bat it is the FNAF 1 Chica, obviously from FNAF 1, and it's just been torn apart, and it just, it's, it's kind of sad to, if you think about it. It's just been ripped and torn. It's pretty horrible to look at. And if you take a close look at Chica's endoskeleton, you'll see that even though it's FNAF 1 Chica, the endoskeleton looks a lot like the FNAF 2 endoskeleton. Which is pretty strange, because those were just for the FNAF 2 animatronics, the toy. But it has the original Chica with the FNAF 2 endoskeleton. There are still some differences from it, but it's it's pretty strange. Now, this isn't 100% Freak Show Chica. It's, it may not be Freak Show Chica, but this is... The only thing we have to base it off of. And I think this is a great way to show another teaser if it is Fixo Chica. Because that means Scott's getting her back in the game, you know. Because she was absent in FNAF Sis location. But Scott is returning Chica in FNAF 6, which would be awesome. Because I really miss Chica. She's a good character. Whew. If you could not tell... That, wow, that was a lot to talk about. I am out of breath of how much was in there. As you can see, I've changed shirt for no reason, just felt like changing. And, yeah, that was a lot to talk about. <sighs> I'm out of breath, guys, that was a lot. But that is from Scott's new book, The Survival Logbook, I think it's called. Um, It's coming out on December the 26th, which is kind of sad that you can't get it for Christmas. <sighs> I also am ill, so this didn't really help. But yeah, that was from the Survival Logbook coming out on December 26th, which I can't wait to get. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to try to share as much as I can with you guys about the book when it comes out and beforehand if we get any more information about it. Now, I also can't wait for FNAF... Ugh. FNAF 6, uh, I really hope that that was Freak Show Chica because, god, that looked awful, and that's gonna be, like, terrifying. No, I mean, not awful in a bad way, but, like, terrifying awful. So, plus I really want Chica back in the game because, you know, we missed her in FNAF's sister location. But anyway, that was the information for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and keep a lookout for more. And I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.